All right, welcome back to the program. It is my first vote. We are emphasizing on issues of governance and politics that affect a particular demographic of the electorates, one that has been rather neglected over time, the very first time voter. And of course, people who for some reason or the other have not had the opportunity to vote. Right now, we have two distinguished personalities in the studio with me. I have Olande Adekunle, and Toby Fasipe. They'll be giving us an idea of things that are going on in politics and governance, particularly in their environment. Mm -hmm. It's nice to have you on the program. Thank you. Thank you That's for nice. having us. Yeah, of course. So tell me, Toby, uh, in your area, before we came on air, you were giving me sort of like a hint of mm -hmm. the things that you were displeased about, especially promises that were not kept, things involving governance that you know, are discouraging to you. So I want you to give us an idea of those things that you feel you are lacking or your particular area is lacking, that you feel there must be a correction, there must be some accountability in that regard. So tell us, Mr. Toby, what are those things that are affecting your particular environment? Um, thank you, Emmanuel. Yeah, you of know, course. Um, when it's time for elections and, and the candidates or contestants for local government chairmen uh, doing their manifesto and everything, they promise mm. us to fix. They promise to fix. There's this particular road in my area. Uh, uh, I live. I stay around the Gobo. It's called the Ofin Road. This road links two big areas in my area. That's um, Oreta and Ofin itself. Then there's another aspect, another area they call Lajo. Mm. This road is very important because the people that pass that place every day, I know they are a lot. And this, this situation of this road is so terrible. I moved to my area seven years ago. And for seven years, that place has not still been fixed. Mm -hmm. But when it is time for election, I can assure you, when it's three months or a month to election, they bring tipper loads of sand to fill the road. And I don't know, I don't know why you know that this kind of road is in mm -hmm. the area. You know this road is in existence. Because by you coming to fill it with sand, that means you are aware that the, the road, road is bad. Well. So it's sort of a case where once it's the time to the elections, because they come and refurbish the road. Definitely. In order to get votes from people. And you know, it Wouldn't is you painful. say that's, that's an issue of trying to play on the intelligence of people in that See, community? That's what they have been doing. And to be sincere, mm. for the lack of knowledge on the, mm. uh, on the side of we, the electorate, is really bad. Because yes. when they get to fill this road with sand, you see people jubilating, thanking the local government chairman for doing what is supposed to be his responsibility. His exactly. And they don't look at the bigger picture in that regard. They don't know that they are supposed to, they have the right to third roads. Hmm. They don't know they have that right. Um, let me even give you another instance. In my own area, my, the place where I stay, Lajo, the road has not been fixed ever, wow. ever. It is, they, they call these people, there's this um, association, they call the CDA, the it's, the, it's made up of the landlords in the area. People contribute their own personal money to grade the roads. And I can, I can actually, I can actually um, understand what you're talking about because even myself in my area, it's uh, just as you mentioned, the Landlords Association that gathers money to fix the roads because you know, it is a case of when you have waited and waited on the government, oh. you cannot continue in that state of oppression it's, it's, it's and not, suffering. You can't, you know, we it's, can't. It's, See, it's very you know, appalling. This is not even about fixing the road. There is no road in existence. Wow. I, I moved to my area seven years ago. I was told that 10 years ago, it was a footpath. Wow. It was a footpath. Wow. But landlords had to contribute their own money to get um, to, to grade the road, to clear the road yeah. and make it able to take, uh, um, accommodate two vehicles at the same time. And okay. another thing now, these landlords are even trying because they are spending a lot of their own money. The government cannot even come and say, OK, let's even do drainage for them. All right, you know, that's a very appalling, you know, take. And I would like to hear from you too, Mrs. Olande. What's going on in your area? Well, the situation is not, is not really different, you know. Yes. I think the problem is people are, I don't know, you know, when you contribute money as landlords and tenants in a place to fix your roads and stuff, I feel like these people are not aware that the government owes them a right. The government should do these things for them normally. Yes. So you contribute money, you fix your road, and these same people come back, promise you half killed Gary or something, <laughs> and then you give them your vote, and then you still 
pay money. It's like you are shooting yourself in the leg. And mm. I, I don't understand. Is it that we don't think or something? Because in Ojota, which is where I stay, more than half of the roads are bad. I think the only road that is good is Victoria and Olasunji. I've been living in Ojota for over 15 years. In mm. 15 years, only two roads out of 12 roads have been fixed. You have Amo. You, there's even a particular road that links New Garage to Ojota. There, that's them, um, that Abayomi Odubena road. That road is like climbing a hill, you know, with wow. rocks. Yeah. You are actually climbing a mountain. And it's so bad. It's a situation where if th that road is fixed, easy access for both and through the time, people. Through the time of you residing in that environment, nobody has been held Nothing accountable. Nothing has been done. Things fact, have been going that way on and on. If rain falls, it's so bad that there's no drainage system. So it's very, you are climbing a mountain and then you are walking through um, a, a canal or a flooded environment. So it's unhealthy, you know. And this thing has been going on time in, day in, day out. You send your, your children past this road. They, they are exposed to so many diseases, tuber tuberculosis, all these things. They don't come from space. Yeah. They come from these things. And I'm just so sad. So this, is why, this is why accountability is very important, you know. And Toby, would you mind telling us what your age is? I'm 20. And yourself, Miss Yolanda? I'm equally 20. Now, the significance of knowing their age is because if you look at their ages, for instance, Ola, you realize that out of 20 years, for 15 of those years, she can remember vividly of how her community has been going through the hardship of bad roads. In other words, people in that environment probably don't even know what it means to have a good road. So government has a lot of work to do in that regard. And now that they have the opportunity, our young demography of young voters, first time voters who have been experiencing these problems, these setbacks, the power is now in their hands. So it is not going to be business as usual. And this takes me to the next segment of the program where we'll be telling you, our listeners, on a particular trip that we took to an environment in Lagos State, very dilapidated environment, might I add. The roads were extremely bad. Toby and Ola can bear witness to that. And when we return, we will give a breakdown of what happened in that particular environment. Stick around. Welcome back. You are still tuned in to the program, My First Food, where we're discussing issues on politics and governance that particularly affect everyone, but in particular, the first-time voter. And before we went on the break, we were having a very interesting conversation with Toby Fasipe and Ola Adekunle. And uh, we talked about how we were going to analyze a personal experience that we had concerning a road in Lagos State. The money that they get, that they are supposed to use to fix those roads, they first load them in their accounts. Then when it is time for election, they take some out of it, buy bag of rice, buy oil, and it buy cannot gari, be that case then anymore. They share. When they share it, people will be satisfied, start shouting the name of the particular because politician. the state of the road was, was very so appalling. But this time around, brother, it, it yeah. was very so Now that I can vote, now that I can vote, and people exactly. like me can vote, I am sure. And that's what's very change. important. They have to change. The first time voters, you know, now is a period where the authority is in our hands. Yes. So it's not going to be a case of where you, you where over time, See, this you are time not responsible, power, accountable to your people. Actively, and nobody can yes. come and tell me nonsense right now. Are your parents <laughs> corporates in the stomach infrastructure? My mom. My mother, she is a culprit. Mm. I've yes, eaten. So you've eaten yes, out of the right. store. Yes, right. yes, <laughs> it was very popular right. during the yes, last yes, elections. I've eaten yeah. it. All thanks to my mother. But that's not going you know, to cost it this time anymore. You know, it, it, it can't work. Even with, see, let me tell you something. I can even collect the rice. Mm -hmm. I can collect the granola oil. But nobody can. But they must still I know what I will do. They must still If I eat your rice, when see, if you go for four years and you do not do anything, and it is rice that you're offering me, I will collect my rice now. You know, going to that road. You cannot go to that road. The next four years. Going to that road, seeing the way things are like there. Yes. I was wondering how 
the people staying in that environment have even put up with that kind of oppression for you so know, many you know, years. You know, because passing that kind of road with your car, you know, you have damage, you would have bad access, people that are even going to Shungo or other places like that. What about people that don't have cars? What about people that don't have cars? People that have cars. Have you thought of how they go through that particular road? I can't imagine myself dipping my leg in that field. And it's particularly terrible during the rainy season. You Which know, we are in right now. It be, and it the worse. funny thing is, yeah. people collect, they pass through this trauma, their children pass through this trauma, and they, they collect the bags of rice. So and it's like sort, a continuous and they, cycle. They tell their children, for example, when I was going to vote the last election, yes. my father told me who to vote for. <laughs> but, and I'll say yes. So that but influence around, goes on and on and on. It, it's not going to yeah. work. So that's the reason why that's the reason why sensitizing you know the right voters, the first voters that are there is very important. You know when parents are trying to influence your vote and all those things. We know that our parents are our parents and they have a good measure of authority over us. Definitely. But see, let me tell you, even if my father tells me that I should vote his father. But I would argue that you have a mature mindset yourself. No, 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 because if you're not mature, See, you, know, you would not be given the opportunity to vote. And that's what's very important. That. So, so we have to take decisions for ourselves. Yes, of course. See, our parents should understand that we are literate. See, we voted way. for them so that they can do these things. That's why you are collecting course, salary. It's their course. job. It's their so job the case of all those mind games where closer to the election, You'll be giving bags of rice work. and what it, have you. It, 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 it can't work again. It, it, can't work. it can't work anymore. It can't work See, anymore. Politicians, when they are seeking Bad for enough. votes, we are the ones doing them a favor yes. because it is a favor. It is a great. Is a is is so a show of honor for you to, to, to for you to represent people. Yes, it's, it's exactly. a big honor for you to represent people. So when you're not getting to that particular office, and you now you are, you are the one thinking you are doing is, this, you these people that put you there, you think mind. you are doing them a favor. People, you need exactly. to ensure that you are protecting their interests. That there is no, because what people don't going understand. to that road. What I realize is that there is a disconnect yes. from the constituency and the people and representing those exactly it, it just seems like disconnect. that place is not part uh, just seems like it's that not sort of and major that road can be in that state if that sort of major road can be in that state mm -hmm. can you only imagine how it would be like in the interior of that no, environment you, you should expect it there, there shouldn't be roads it would be Since terrible there. Pathways, there, those, there shouldn't be roads in those places <laughs> i don't you. expect yes of the course and this is why exist in the this is why it is very just important why. and that's why i must particularly appreciate you people for being on the program today you know very opinionated individuals giving us it's, your it's opinions actually, on yes, things it's, it's, honor. it's, a, it's you know, an honor for yes, us we, we are grateful for this kind of platform age, you know, to tell course. people that these things are not right